Is this ring real or is it costume jewelry? Drop your best guess in the comments and I'm gonna show you how a gemologist figures out what this is. We'll start by testing the settings. So we're gonna first look inside the band for any clues like purity stamps or maker's marks. And it looks like it says sterling for sterling silver along with a patent number. But there's a problem because sterling silver is not magnetic like this. Also, the gold tester is giving us an immediate no gold reading, plus the baguette side stones are testing negative as diamond. So it looks like this is a costume setting. Now let's test the redstone at the center. We're gonna start with the refractometer and measure how this gem bends light. The surface is quite scratched, which makes this a little harder, but we're getting around a 1.48 or so. The polariscope is not very helpful as this setting has a solid back, plus we're not seeing much from the side either, so let's use the dichroscope. If you'd like a free lesson on how this works, be sure to check the caption, but basically we want to see if the colors in the two squares are the same or different. These are the same, which means this is singly refracted. Lastly, let's check for any inclusions in the microscope. I'm not seeing any inclusions, but it's clear the surface is heavily abraded from wear, which means this is likely a softer material. Taking a look at the baguettes, they're just too dull to be diamonds, plus they look abraded as well. Since we have a 1.48 RI, it's singly refractive and it's heavily abraded. It looks like this is either a glass or plastic imitation gemstone, and I'm gonna lean plastic on this one. So did you get this one right?